Andy, joined once again by my lovely co-hosts Dash the Sleepy Cat and Janie. We're just hanging out here today, making videos. So today I wanted to share with you my top lipstick picks for redheads. This is basically just my lipstick collection, so we could also call it that, but um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because as a redhead, I have struggled with trying to find the right colors for me, and it has taken me a long time. I'm still not great at it. I don't know, y'all may think, hey, what is she wearing on her lips right now? So that looks awful. I'm turning her off. But if you like it, if you think I'm okay with the taste, then please keep watching. First up is the color that I am wearing right now. and this this is um, the e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick in Movie Star. That's what the packaging looks like. It's a beauty. I really like this product. It's um, it's cheap. It was like a dollar, <laughs> maybe three dollars. Y'all know how inexpensive e.l.f. products are. You get them at Target. Um, you can get them other places too. I'm starting to see them pop up at um, Walgreens and uh, I have not seen them at our Walmart, but y'all probably, you know, you know, go to the website and check it out. Um, Anyway, it's an e.l.f. lip gloss stick. I really like this color. It is, it's a red-ish color, but it's not an orangey red. I have to be careful. I cannot do the orangey red. Um, I have to have kind of blue undertones. And this is kind of as, as bright red as I can get without looking a little wonky. Um, so it goes on, your, the first coat you put on of this is going to be thin and... Um, sheer and really lovely. It's nice. Um, I have, this is probably four coats. I just kind of went over and over and over it until I got it to the shade I wanted, but I could keep going. You could make it darker. You could probably make it the color of the tip of that thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's good. It's versatile because you can use it as a sheer or, um, or kind of bulk it up a little bit more. And it is pretty matte. It doesn't have any shimmer in it or hardly any shine at all, but I like it. It feels good and it's cheap. So it, it's on my list. Next, I have applied another one of these color sticks. Um, this is the Lip Surgeon's Lip Luster by Tarte. And the color is Achiote? Achiote? I don't know how you pronounce this. It's A-C-I-C-H-I-O-T-E. Achiote, I guess. Um, but it's on the pink side. And um, that's what the color looks like in the tube. Uh, and I'm wearing it. Uh, it's it kind of tingly and minty and it just feels really fresh on your lips. It's a nice bright springy daytime color. I mean you can wear it whenever you want but I like to wear it during the day because it's just it's bright and poppy. I like it. Fatchiot Lip Surgeon Slip Luster. You can get this at Sephora or wherever Tarte products are sold. The next uh, lipstick that I am now displaying is Plum Beautiful by Boots Number no. 7. Um, I picked this up at Target. As y'all can tell, I really love Target. I get a lot of makeup there, but um, yeah, this is Plum Beautiful, and this is the Moisture Drench lipstick. They have several different kinds, but this is the Moisture Drench um, Plum Beautiful, number seven by Boots, and here it is. It is just gorgeous. I love this color. Um, it feels really, really good on your lips. It's Mm, it's kind of buttery and balmy and it's not sticky um, but it feels so good on and it does last quite a while I really like the the longevity of it um, but it's a really great color for day or night really any season you could wear this it's just really flattering on on my particular skin type and I think it looks good with red hair the next lipstick I want to show you is Revlon's blushed and it's in the pearled um, the pearl lipstick collection they have different finishes and this is the pearl finish and it's called Blushed. As you can see, it's a really, really subtle color. It's almost my lip color, just a little more uh, pronounced. But it's um, it feels really good. It you know, it's a good product. Revlon lip products are just great all the way around. Um, I highly recommend Revlon lip products. Um, but if you're if you have a similar complexion to mine, uh, then you might enjoy this color, Blushed. Okay, so now I am wearing uh, Spiced Apple by Clinique. Um, and I've actually had this one for quite a while. I hope they still make this color, but it is a really good one for redheads. It's kind of um, a spiced apple, I think is a really good description. It's kind of spicy looking. It's got a lot of warm tones. Um, I think it's a really good color for, for my complexion and, and it goes with red hair really nicely. And I'll show you what it looks like in the tube here. Um, and like I said, I've had this one for a while and I counted it out for quite a long time because I always feel like I need to wear something over it. Um, I just, I wasn't wearing a lot of lipstick when I got this and I just felt, I felt strange having it on. Um, but now I really do enjoy it and I, I wear it quite a bit. Um, but it's a pretty color. Um, it's a little bit darker and I think it, um, 
it goes well with a natural look or, or an evening look. I also wanted to show you uh, this little guy. Um, this is Makeup Forever, and you can get this at Sephora. Um, I don't know if you can get it at Ulta or not, but um, I know you can get it at Sephora, that's where I got this one. This actually came in the February birthday kit because I got a little birthday present from Sephora. If you didn't know you could do that, you can. If you sign up for their emails or whatever, you can get a birthday gift from them, and it's, it's usually just like, it, it was a sample of this, and I think um, I don't know, it came with like a blush or something too, but anyway. Uh, I, I put this one on next because it's really, really similar to the Clinique one. Um, in fact, I'll swatch these together. Um, the reason I wanted to show you both of these, so this is the Clinique Spiced Apple. Um, for one, I'm actually not sure they still make, and there's the other one. So this is a little bit, um, the Makeup Forever one is a little bit pinkier of a color. It's not as autumn-y, um, but they're still really similar. And just in case they don't make this anymore, get this one instead. I, I think they do still make this color, but like I said, I've had it a long time, so I don't know. I probably shouldn't even be wearing it. Um, but yeah, this, oh, and the color is um, Rouge Artist Natural. I guess Artist Natural is the is the line of lipstick this is. But anyway, N9, it says N9 on the bottom too, so uh, you can use any of that information to find this little lipstick. Um, but yeah, I really like it. it. It feels really good. It's got a good pigment to it. Um, and yeah, it's really hydrating too. I, I just am noticing this for the first time. It's really, really hydrating. I kind of don't want to take it off. Um, especially after trying on all these lipsticks. <laughs> it feels good to have this on. Next is a very pretty um, red color and this is um, this is a Revlon lip butter. Ah, uh, we love the Revlon lip butters. They are so good. I have several different lip butters and I love them. I love them. They're so highly um, highly rated and lots of reviews about these guys but um, all the colors look great but this is this is red velvet. Uh, it's color 40. Um, and you can see it's it's pretty dark red um, on me anyway and um, oh gosh their red on lip butters just feel so good uh, going on they're creamy and um, I don't know they're buttery I think that's really the best way to describe it the lip butters are buttery who'd have thought um, but yeah it's it's a really really great color I kind of like the packaging it looks like a little piece of candy um, but uh, okay so here's what it looks like um, comes up this deep color. I always get nervous about the lip butters because they're so, um, they look like they're really highly pigmented, but when you put it on it is more sheer. Um, so that's something to note if you're picking out one of these that it's not going to be as dark as it looks in the tube necessarily. You can build it to that shade, but it's going to be a little more sheer. Uh, that's what I found anyway. Next is my very favorite of the lip butters. This is called Pink Truffle. It's shade one actually um, And it's it's almost just my lip color, but darker and I'll Put this on for you So there's the pink truffle it's um, it's kind of got this minty vanilla flavor smell to it. It's a little bit tingly, but it's really, really pretty for just um, every day. I think it's it's just a really nice color. It feels good. Um, like I said, the lip butters are all amazing, but uh, I really like this one for redheads. Okay, we are working through the collection here. Uh, the next one I want to show you is the Plush Plum Color by L'Oreal's Color Riche. It's a Color Riche Balm. Uh, and this is what the color looks like. This is another one of those that it's going to look really highly pigmented in the store, but when you put it on, it is it is more of a balm and it's more sheer. So I will show you this one. It goes on really, really smoothly. And um, it's not... Um, it's not quite as pink as the last one I put on. It's a little more warm. Got more of a warm red tone to it. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It has a SPF 15 in it. It's really buttery. Um, really balmy. The only thing I don't like about this, about the balm ones from, what did I say? L'Oreal. <laughs> Is that they, I don't know, it, it might be the SPF factor, which I fully think you should have. You should wear things that have SPF. Um, but it has that taste, that SPF, you know what I mean? When you're a kid and you get sunscreen in your mouth, it kind of has that going on in there. But other than that, it's kind of got a vanilla-y smell, um, but it's a really beautiful color. It feels so nice on. It's really smooth and yeah, good for redheads.
Next is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. This one is Soft Raspberry. And the color I'm wearing now is Rich Raisin. I really like both of these color sticks. Um, in my February Favorites video, I did a little mini review of the Neutrogena ones. They're, oh, they're so great. They're so great. They smell good. They feel good. They're just really good products. And I wear these colors a lot. I wear the um, <clears throat> the Soft Raspberry more just because I, I just it's a great go-to for daytime. But this color is gorgeous as well. I think it looks um, it looks nice on um, on fair skin. It would look nice on anybody. But I you know this is my this is my experience is this face. So I'm telling you, it looks good on on my complexion with red hair. Um, you know whatever. It looks awesome. <laughs> Okay, whew, so we're coming up on the home stretch here of the lipstick collection. Um, this one I am undecided about. So y'all can tell me, what do you think of this color on me? This is, um, it's another, it's another Revlon Pearl. Um, it's one of the super lustrous lipsticks. It's called Wine With Everything. It's shade 520. Um, this is what it looks like. And as you can tell, that's pretty, um, that's a little more pink than I normally go. And it's almost a little more orangey. Um, so you tell me what you think about this one. Is this a good shade for redheads? I need some interaction here. <laughs> okay, so I want to move on to some lip glosses now. I have three different ones to show you, and they're all fairly different. So this should be good. Um, this one is the, this is a Boots number 7 lip, I don't know if you pronounce it, Glace, Glace, G-L-A-C-E with a little thing on the E. Um, but this color is, I think it's Marshmallow. Yeah, I don't see the color on here anywhere, but I think it's called Marshmallow. Um, but um, all the all of these lip, lip glaze colors are really, really nice, um, and they feel really good. And I'll put this on for you. It looks good by itself. Um, this one just adds a touch of shimmer. I mean, as you can tell, it's a really, it's, you know, it's a light color. It's, um, it's really sheer. It looks beautiful on top of lipstick. It just adds a really nice shimmer and shine. Um, but by itself, it looks nice too. If you're just looking for a, a nice soft neutral gloss, I, I would recommend this one. Next is my favorite new lip gloss. This is um, this is a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in Spark Plug. And I actually did, um, I got this in the Beauty in Bloom box that they have currently spring 2014. Um, that uh, Bare Minerals has out. Oh my goodness, oh my, I love this lip gloss. It is phenomenal. Um, it's, it's, um, it's thick and it, it's like tingly and smells really good. <laughs> it's just, and as you can see, I mean, it's just kind of, it looks like it's good quality and it is, of course it's Bare Minerals, but um, it's good quality lip gloss um, and I think the color is really pretty. It's universally flattering too. Um, this shade of pink is going to look good on anybody. It's just bright and beautiful. I'm going to wrap it up with this rosy sheer lip gloss. Um, this is a Stay Glossy by Rimmel London. Um, it's a Stay Glossy lip gloss and the color is... Known. <laughs> I don't know what the color is guys. I'm really sorry but there is no indication of the color on this anywhere. Um, got it at CVS, but I'll show you the color on the, uh, on the wand here. This is the color. Um, and I was afraid that this would be too purpley, um, for me, but it really, I think it looks nice. It's kind of, um, rosy. It's a little more color on the lip. Um, and it's, it feels really good too. I was, I was also nervous because Rimmel products, sometimes when I've tried them, I have them in crazy, crazy about them, but I really, really like this lip gloss and it looks really nice over top of, um, lipstick. Um, for example, on top of um, the Moxie Speak Your Mind, Marvelous Moxie Speak Your Mind lipstick by Bare Minerals. And I, I don't know if, if you watched my Bare Minerals tutorial, this came in that Beauty and Bloom box as well. And it's just way too pink for me. When you put it on, it's just, it's not right for my skin tone at all. Um, but I have found if I put this on top of it, it creates a really nice color. Um, so I hope that this puts some more redhead lipstick awareness out there that you know you can find a shade for you so I, I hope this helped you out if you like my video if you like my channel please watch my other videos and um, give me a thumbs up subscribe make a comment um, I would love to hear from you and uh, yeah some lipstick some lip color that would be great for redheads let me know because I am always on the hunt have a great week everybody bye